Hi, this is Victor. Welcome to my channel, Vic5 and Season 5. Today I'm going to review um, one of the uh, inks that I bought for one of my fountain pens. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the ink that I want to talk about is this one right here. This is by uh, Jay Herbin and it is the Rouge Granat ink. It's red ink, of course. You can see it uh, there. And I have it in the red Lamy pen. So what I've noticed with this one is that um, it tends to cake. Yeah, let's see if I can show it to you. You can see it where you can see it where it cakes right there. See that? And I notice that it does that a lot every time. Where compared to say my other pen, this is another one that uses a bottle ink. And if you look here on this one, um, sorry, you can see it's not really as prevalent. So, um, so while I still have a lot of ink left in this one, um, can I open it? Let's see here. The, this is only, by the way, a, um, let's see here. It's, uh, it's not very much in milliliters. It is, uh, hmm, I don't seem to see it, the size here. Oh, 30. There it is right there. But you know, I've had this for well over a year. And it is quite full, as you can see. Um, I would say, let's see here. If I look at the bottle, the bottle was pretty full. And um, the you can see it's still pretty full. So it's going to last years. So um, I can't see me, though, re-buying this one after. Whereas just because it does seem to cake a lot in this one. Where I did buy a new one. Um, from Ferris, Ferris wheel, right there. See right there? And this is a red one. Um, I haven't really opened it up because I don't have a pen for it right now. So I'm really kind of eager to use it. It's called Royal Rhubarb, so I think it's more of a burgundy-ish. But I'm kind of looking forward to trying this ink. Okay, so, um, <laughs> oops, sorry. There you have it. Uh, there is one red ink that uh, I might I might try and use it on a different type of fountain pen, maybe uh, maybe a bold pen instead, because I do have this uh, Lamy over here, which currently uses um, red, as you can see. But see, the Lamy red is more pinkish, I find. If you look here, see, you can see that it's kind of pinkish, right? So I think I might switch that, put in a converter, where this red, as you can see, is... It's almost dry. I have to refill it. That's why it's so hard. The, but you can see it's more of a darker red, right? Where well, this one is more of a... Let me just hold on. Um, if I color this in, then you might get it. See where it's a pinkish one, right? And then this one, if I color this one in, but again... Uh, yeah, see? It's more of a dark red. There you go. Anyway, um, yeah, I think so. What I will do is put... Once this runs out, is put this one into with a converter into that one to use it up, and maybe it'll work better as well in that sense of caking. Although they all seem to cake a little bit, right? But this seems to be the most. I mean, with this, and I'm not sure if it is that ink or if it just happens to be that one, but there it is. Anyway, um, <laughs> so that's my opinion on that one. So thank you for watching. Have a great day and see you in my next episode. All right, bye-bye.